Hello, my name is Elsie, and I'm from Canada. When I first decided to take this um, this energy enhancement course, I read and reread the the website for for energy enhancement, and it was really really good to see all the testimonials of students and. Uh, just to read all their their experiences, and uh, for them to really uh, to express it from the heart, and uh, it has touched me in that form. And uh, so, uh, when I did decide to come for the course, I had come with no with no expectations. I left myself open so I could experience what is uh, right and appropriate for me. And uh, so, uh, first level was, was wonderful because we had a great group of people. And for me, my experience was just right for me. I just don't have any words to express what I felt. And um, so th there were times when I shared and then there were times when I didn't want to share what I had experienced because it was all for me, for me, for me at the moment. And um, as, as I progressed in the uh, in the first level, the second level was even better because it delved more into you, you as the physical mind, body, spirit, sort of. And um, one of the one of the one of the experiences that I have had, and it has um, a profound. Um, feeling from the heart was when I had uh, worked with uh, Debbie on the metamorphic self-healing <coughs> course. Um, now as I'm trying to, to express my, my experience, it's, it's difficult because um, my words don't do my experience any justice. And for, for the healing I had received at that time, and now as I talk, is, uh, uh, will come in the form when it's ready for me and for all the energies to, to perhaps integrate in my um, mind, body, spirit. And um, so for that, I'm very thankful for Debbie and all of her help and her love. Another experience that I have had was the um, when we were working on the um, blockages for relations and people and everything to do with with how you you your your interactions with people, significant people, not so significant people, and one of the expressions that had come forth was in the form of an octopus. And uh, when I had worked on that particular blockage, it just let me know of all the links, whether they were deeply seated or whether it was more in the present, and um, how it was all all interlinked, and uh, so many linkages, I guess you might say. So I was able to see that um, we, our blockages affect a whole range of people as well. And what do you think that this octopus represented, Elsie? <clears throat> oh, it represented people. It, re it represented different groups of people that have affected me in my life uh, to date. But why was it an octopus? Well, it just let me know that 
that each each tentacle was a different person or or perhaps a group of people that had um, um, that had subpersonalities within me or that had implants or perhaps any form of negative um, <coughs> energies working within me. Dependency? Dependency, yes. One of them was a dependency in, in my relationship. <laughs> and um, the um, poor me, you know, as a child. And um, and addictions. Mm -hmm. So for me to work on all those tentacles and a And it was really showing you how the um, other people um, with their blockages and with their things that they wanted to do, they were affecting you. Yes, they were. Yes. And so as I had worked on, on the octopus, though it was very, very hard work to, to be uh, transmuting it. Um, but you had some help. I had a lot of help from my guides. They assisted me, but they did all the work, mm -hmm. my, my guides and um, great spirit, the angels, they, they did all the work for me. Mm -hmm. But I was able to see that the blockage just dissolved into minute, minute particles, and they just dissolved. Mm -hmm. And how did that feel, Elsie? It felt um, wonderful. It was a great release. Um, and it really, really, um, you know, when the um, blockage it transmuted, it, like my heart just, this is wonderful, like I don't need that. In my life now, I don't need that. <laughs> so for me, my heart was just, it just went open. And, um, and of course this octopus was in the solar plexus. And the solar plexus powers the heart. Mm -hmm. And if the solar plexus is being parasitized by all those other people taking your energies, then there's no room for any energy to go into the heart. So when it's all removed, what happens? Well, I felt wonderful. I, I just felt like a great uh, weight was um, released from me. Mm -hmm. And I felt more light, more light. Mm -hmm. My body certainly felt better, mm -hmm. very much better. Yeah. And of course that's uh, very similar to what happened when you were removing blockages from the Antikarana. Yes. The energies that stretch from the center of the earth out into the center of the universe and you were working on all of that chakra by chakra a long hard work to remove all of that mm -hmm. how did you feel when you were working on those blockages and removing them as i worked i um i had i had again a lot of help from my my guides from my angels, from Great Spirit. Um, I know that it was not just me that was able to, to dissolve it, but my, um, my asking for help mm -hmm. was given to me instantly when I needed to, to work on all those um, chakras and dissolve all, all the blockages. Yes. And each time the blockages were dissolved, released, I felt more lighter and lighter. And the light 
went brighter and brighter <laughs> with each level. You were describing your hair curling around when it hit the crown chakra. I did. My <laughs> crown chakra was just really crackling. Yeah. And where did you find the blockages mainly, Elsie? Where were they in the Antikarana? In, well, as I worked above the, um, well, the monad, I had a lot of blockages in the uh, level three and four. Mm, levels three is the logos, and level four is Sirius. Oh, yes. Yeah. And the. Um, um, Oh, but in the levels to the side you're talking about. The bad levels. mothers. <laughs> <laughs> the <Yeah>. BMs. The BMs. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I had a lot of blockages there because as, as I thought, you know, the transmute, transmuting went, it, it didn't. Mm. Another uh, blockage would, would appear. Yes. So there was more and more work to... Mm -hmm. to be done. Yeah. And um, I'm glad to be rid of those. But and there's still more work to be done. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the effect of having those blockages above your head? And how did you feel when they'd been removed? How I felt again was, uh, well I can't really tell you how I felt except to say that I had a a great release and I felt so much better even though my face or or my body may not show the the result I know how I felt mm -hmm. as I had worked on on the blockages and uh, and where were the blockages you know in levels above the head mm -hmm. well the, the monad yeah the serious serious um, the three levels above the um, the the avatar of synthesis. Of synthesis. Yes. Yeah. So that would be six, seven, and eight yes. chakras above the crown chakra. Yes. And higher than that? Um, I didn't work higher than that, but I worked on those three levels. Ah. And as I did work on those three levels, yes, there was more blockages there. Well, remember I said that yeah. the first level was from, say, five to a hundred yes. chakras above, mm -hmm. and the second level was from a hundred to a million chakras above the crown chakra, and the last one was from a million mm -hmm. to infinity chakras above the crown chakra. And you were finding blockages in all those areas. All those areas. But the blockages that I had to really, really work with, and it took some difficulty, were in the BMs mm -hmm. and level four of, yes. of each of those. Yeah. Well, of course, all of these blockages above the crown chakra are implants. They have been placed there to cut you off from the light of uh, the energy in the center of the universe. The purpose is to keep people in darkness. And when you remove it, the result is energy. And you got them also beneath the base chakra as well, didn't you? I did. Um, and I did work on the um, th three lower base chakras. You know, the same like the mm -hmm. uh, zero to ten, and then from the ten to the million and million to the, mm -hmm. or billion to the... But to the, the worst million. one is the one just below the base chakra, beneath the base chakra on the way to the center of the earth. Yes. And there's a big one there. I remember that one. <laughs> I, had, I had great difficulty with that one. And of course that one's to cut you off from your grounding, from the source, from the earth itself, and to keep you a slave. No power to do anything. How do you feel now, Elsie? Relieved. <laughs> Actually, I um, feel so much better. Um, I have uh, a more strength, mm -hmm. more strength. Um, 
than I had uh, prior to taking the um, level one, level two EE meditation course. Mm -hmm. And I'm still working on, yeah. on my energy. <laughs> <laughs>